Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's see how we can set up and perform cash control in order for free point of sale. So this cash control, it is really important because it allows you to check the amount of the cash box at the time of opening and closing session. And you can just make sure that there is no error or no mistake has been made and no cash is missing. So here we can uh, find the point of sale dashboard and find all the point of sale. So let me open uh, settings of my shop and here under payments, you have the option to set coins or bills that will be used in opening and closing control. So I've already added uh, some coins and you can also remove coins if some if you don't want some coins and you can also set a maximum difference like there can be difference between the expected and counted money during the closing of session so you can allow a maximum difference uh, between the expected and counted and you can set here uh, like suppose if there is no issue if you have a difference then you can mention here uh, now after that you can save the point of sale and let's start a new session so here for this job you can view the last closing date and last closing cash and balance so let's start a new session and when you start a session you can see a window that opens the opening cash control so here we have to add the opening cash for your session so by default, it will use the values that you have added before, uh, but you can also modify it. So right now it is zero, uh, so you can change it. Now when you click on this uh, money details pop-up, you can view all the coins and bills available. You can add that here, like you can use account. So Here we can see according to that the total amount is updated. Now here we can confirm and you can see the money details are added to the note. So this note will be used as a reminder when you close session like this details will be shown at the time of closing session. So here we can find the total opening cash and now we can open session. Now let's select the cashier. So here we have to provide a password. So if you have set a pin for this uh, cashier in the employee form under HR settings, then you have to provide that pin here. So we can find all the products. We can choose customer. So if a customer, Billy Fox have made an order for armchair, Two quantity and bed one quantity you can see that is added to the order line and you can find the unit price and the total amount you can view the tax and here at the left side you can find the loyalty points given to this customer and the total loyalty points that he accurate now we can add customer note and if you want to view uh, product information you can click on that then if you want to add discount to this order that can be added so this one is a global discount and if you want to add manual discount it can be added here after that uh, you can click on the payment and choose a payment method and if you want to generate invoice, uh, that can be chosen from here. Now we can click on validate. So here we can view the receipt. You can view the order details inside the receipt. And you can also see invoices generated. So you can send this receipt and invoice as email to the customer. So here we can find the total amount. Now if you click on new order, you can make new orders. 
then uh, suppose if you have taken some money out you can also add that here so we have to put so that can be uh, recorded in point of sale uh, by using this button cash out so you can mention the amount that you have taken from the cash box you have taken 600 you can provide the reason and you can click on confirm so successfully made a cash out of 600 now simply if you want to close a session or if you want to close this interface you can just click on this close if you want to keep the session open and close this interface you can click click on this keep session open so uh, after some times you can again come and continue selling Now, if you're closing the session, so before closing session, here we can see all the uh, details, like uh, you can view the total orders that you have made uh, and you can view the total amount that you got from the orders and total payment, then the uh, amount in customer account and the money details. So these uh, were set. These were added as a note at the time of opening session. And here we can view the uh, payment details. So here we can view the total expected cash. So we can see uh, uh, we have an opening cash 19,247. And we have taken money 600 uh, from the cash box. So you can see it is subtracted from the opening balance, opening amount. And then uh, as we have done, three orders that is three orders were done so you can view the total payments is 841.47 which is payments in cash and that is added with this opening uh, amount so in total it is 27,059.47 and we have zero in bank and uh, zero in customer account and we have a difference of negative 27,059.47 so with this difference we cannot close the session so let's change the counted so you can see now the difference is zero so if the counted quantity is 27 1059.47 you can see the expected cash and counted cash is same there is no difference so now we can close the session and suppose if there is a difference so here you can see the counted is 27069.47 so there is a difference of 10 and here you can see an option to accept payment difference and post a profit or loss journal entry. So this will accept the payment difference and post the profit and loss. And if you want to provide any notes by closing this session, you can also add that. So now I click on close session. So here we can find the last closing date, last closing cash and if any balance we can also find that. Now here under orders you can find uh, order details, all the orders that we have made. You can also group by session. Then cashier, customer, 
now under orders you can also view all the sessions open so here we can see we have opened a session and it is closed and posted it is opened by cashier mishletmin and we can view the opening date and closing date and total orders made in that session uh, or the order details then uh, total pickings total payments a total amount then general items related to that uh, those orders then cash register you can also view the payments now let me check accounting uh, here we have a reporting profit and loss so as we have a difference 10 uh, if you check the cash difference gain you can see here that difference 10 is added here so when you check this you can see that difference is added here we can check the journal entry you can see the statement so this is how cash controlling is done in point of sale so that's all for this video and thanks for watching Thank you.